What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel where we talk about everything and anything under the sun. My name is Sebi and you're watching Sebi RT. A few months back, I shot this video. In that video, I talked about how it's actually easy to be in college and I also talked about how people are making such a big deal out of it when really it's nothing. But As I was approaching the end of the first semester, I realized college is not a joke. You really have to put a lot of thought into it, you really have to think about it. You have to be prepared before you get in college. This video might not be that timely, but hi, today we're going to be talking about things to consider before going to college. There are a lot of senior high school students right now who might be looking for tips on choosing which course or program they will be taking. I wanted to make this video to make it a lot easier for you guys to choose. The new curriculum requires you to be sure of the college course that you will be taking because the two years that you will be taking in senior high school would be in preparation for your college years. And I thought this did not matter, but in reality, it did. When I was in senior high school, I took up humanities and social sciences. Basically, the courses na kasama sa humanities and social sciences when you take college are usually law-related courses. Yung mga gusto maging abogado eventually, or yung mga gusto magtake na psychology for college, or yung mga magteacher, maglawyer, uh, magsa psychologists, they take humanities and social sciences. Ako, I took Yums kasi supposedly um, gusto ko mag-psychology for college kasi gusto ko yung maging pre-med course ko. After my first year ng Yums, I realized gusto ko mag-take ng business management. I did not want to shift to ABM kasi I did not understand na sobrang importante pala ng senior high school when it comes to your college course. So before we talk about you choosing your college course, you have to understand na bago ka pa mag senior high school, kailangan alam mo na kung ano yung college course. Kasi you have to choose yung strand na magfi-fit sa college course mo. Hindi na ako nag-shift from UMS to ABM, which is Accounting and Business Management na strand. Kasi I didn't understand how important it was gonna be. Tinuloy ko yung UMS and I graduated senior high school as a Humanities and Social Sciences student. Tapos I enrolled for a business course and it was not easy hindi related yung mga napag-aralan ko in senior high school dun sa mga pinag-aaralan ko for the business course. Gen ed subjects are easy, pero magdetay dun sa mga major subjects na like, hindi siya related dun sa mga napag-aralan ko as a young student. Hindi ko naiintindihan. I cannot grasp the idea kasi hindi ko napag-aralan yung theories that came before it. Totoo yung sinasabi nila na introduction yung senior high school para sa college. Although a lot of people are saying na hindi naman nakakredit yung mga subjects na nakuha mo na in senior high school, it's still a huge help kung na-introduce ka na ng maayos dun sa field na pag-aaralan mo pagdating sa college. Now, when it comes to choosing a college course, you don't have to pressure yourself too much. You can always shift if you want. Pero, it would not be cost-efficient, practical, and syempre, sayang yung oras for taking a course na hindi naman talaga fit for you or hindi naman talaga passion mo. The first advice that I could give is really listen to your heart. Think of something na kaya mong gawin for the rest of your life without being paid or without being recognized or without being pushed. When I was choosing a course that I wanted to take, hindi ko talaga inisip masyado like, what do I really want to do? I thought that it was gonna be easy to just study something kahit na hindi ko siya super gusto. I did that for preschool, elementary, and high school lives. How hard could it be, diba? 
What I realized when I got into business school is that it can be hard talaga. It can be really, really draining when you're doing something or when you're trying to study something that doesn't have your heart in it. It's easy to say na just focus kasi on what you're doing or just you know, pour your heart into your work. But sometimes, it's really hard to apply it. So what you can really do is really thinking about what your heart desires. Spend time with yourself. Really reflect on what you want to do. Whatever the course you will be taking, hindi ka naman stuck dun forever. Like, you're not gonna be doing that for the rest of your life. You can always choose to do more or choose to do a different thing. Pero, sayang kasi yung oras na isuspend mo studying something that you will eventually give up on. It's very, 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 very easy to give up on a course that doesn't have your heart in it. If you're really not passionate about something, it's gonna be hard for you to go through college studying that thing. Think about something that you can do for the rest of your life without getting noticed, without getting paid for. Something that you can do even when you're tired. Something that you would love to do over anything else. After the second semester of my first year in business course, I will be shifting to a different course kasi sobrang draining ng trabaho pagdating sa college kung hindi mo talaga gusto yung ginagawa mo. When you think you already know what you really, 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 really want, spend time getting to know it more. For example, you have decided na mag-pursue ng medical course. Engage yourself in things that are related to it. Get to know it more. And uh, seek knowledge from those with experience sa field na gusto mong pasukin. In my case, when I decided na gusto ko talaga mag-pursue ng vet med, I started looking for vlogs ng mga vet students. Kasi I wanted to see kung kakayanin ko siya talaga or kung yun talaga yung gusto ko kasi sometimes we can easily say na ay ito yung gusto ko pero pag nakita natin yung reality ng field na yun we back out so when you think you already know what your heart desires you try to simulate situations na papasukin mo Yun nga, in my case, I started looking for vlogs and I tried to imagine myself in the position where they were. What's fun about our generation and the technology that we have, it's easier for us to have a glimpse of the reality sa field na gusto nating pasukin. We don't just rely on mainstream media to show us what the realities of different fields are. We can easily search for people who are in the reality of what we want to see. Sobrang dami nang nag-vlog ngayon sa sobrang daming field. You can easily search for any information that you want to understand. Kung gusto mong maging business student, kung gusto mong maging engineering student, kung gusto mong maging law student, kung gusto mong pasukin yung iba't ibang mundo ng iba't ibang tao. It's very easy kasi halos lahat ngayon may access na sa paggawa ng videos about it, which enables us to see a glimpse of their world. So if you feel like you already know what what your heart wants. Try to imagine yourself in their reality by looking at their reality. When you really want something, eventually it becomes everything that occupies your mind. When I started watching the videos about these vet students, I saw myself in that field and I saw myself excelling in that field. I realized ko na I do very very well as a vet. I realized na I will survive vet school and I will do good in vet school. Kasi I saw the struggles that they had and I saw the victories that they were having too and I imagined myself in that position. Kaya ko ba yung pressure noon, struggles noon? Will I enjoy the benefits? Will I enjoy the victories that come with the struggles and hardships. I saw myself in that position and I realized na yes, this is something that I really want. 
when you simulate what's about to happen, it's easier for you to decide whether or not to pursue the course that you are trying to pursue. Third advice is just give it a shot. Try mo na siya. Pag feeling mo kaya mo na, pag feeling mo alam mo na kung ano yung gusto mo, tapos na validate mo na kung ano talaga yung gusto mo, give it a shot. Try it. Try to get the most out of the experience that you will get. <laughs> Backstory. So first year ko, first sem pa lang, we were already asked to create three business plans and one marketing plan. Tapos, it was easily draining for me to do all of that by myself. Kasi, well, even if it was technically a group thing to do, I ended up <laughs> doing almost all of the work. So, it was draining para sa akin. Probably because it wasn't something that I really like to do. Kasi, during the times na ginagawa ko mag-isa yung mga papers, habang nagpapakahirap ako at nasistress sa kung anong ilalagay ko doon at kung anong aayusin ko. Na-imagine ko yung sarili ko doing that, pero in a different course. I imagine myself doing all the work for all four papers. Kung nasa vet med ako and I did all the papers by myself, I felt like it would not have been as frustrating as it was. Siguro my point here is, pag nakapili ka na, give all that you can give to make it work. Sometimes, baka naman pagod ka lang, naubusan ka lang ng enthusiasm, pero yun naman talaga yung gusto mo. We, we all reach a point of burnout every once in a while. Nonetheless, try to make the most out of the experience that you will be getting. Parang ako, I, I took a business course and it was draining for me. It was exhausting. It was frustrating. Pero, I still tried to make the most out of the experience that I could get. I still tried to intake as much knowledge, as much information as I can absorb. I still tried to understand as much as I could. Kasi, I think the experience of being there and the information that I could have gotten there sayang kung di ko si seryosohin so wherever you are whatever course you chose to take seryosohin nyo pa rin even if sa kalagitnaan ng pag take nyo ng course na yun ay ma-realize yung this is not what I want still try to make the best out of it para hindi masayang yung oras at efforts na ibigay nyo na dun sa course na yun so yun I guess the bottom line is Kung ano yung gusto ng heart mo, listen to it. Kung ano yung mapag-desisyonan mo, stick to it. Or make the best efforts to make it work. Kung hindi talaga, hindi, hindi talaga. Pero do not just give up on a course that easily. Ako kasi, <laughs> I'm only on my first year and I only finished first semester. But I will be going to the second semester to try to finish that. But I will already be moving because I tried to make it work for a year. Tapos, yeah. This will be my first and last shift. I know it in my heart. I feel it. I made the mistake of choosing the wrong course. But it's not me being fickle-minded. It's just me realizing what I really want. And it's okay if it takes you a while to realize what you really want. But when you do, do your best to make it work. Give all that you can to make it work. That's it for this video. I hope that kind of helped you decide kung ano yung course, course chan na take nyo. Medyo maaga pa para dito sa video na to kasi it is almost January pa. I guess what I'm trying to say is try to really listen to your heart when it comes to choosing which course or which strand you will be taking. And when you decide on what you want, do your best to make it work. Put your heart into it. Really get the most out of the experience that you will be getting para kahit pag na-realize mo na it's not right for you, you can still say na there was value to the time and efforts that you have exerted there. Ayun, I hope this video helped in a way. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Yo, if you liked it, hit like and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below on your questions or suggestions when it comes to college life or senior high school life. You can also share this video to people who are trying to decide on their courses or their strands or you know, you could just like share it for fun. See you guys in the next video. Until then, be worth your existence. Bye-bye.